Thrifting is all the rage these days, with shoppers flocking to secondhand stores for their latest fashion finds. We've seen an increase in 30% of people shopping secondhand in the last two years. I love it because it allows people to save a lot of money. Experts say it's mostly younger consumers who are drawn to the low cost and positive environmental impact. Once someone wanders into a consignment store or better yet, a larger secondhand store like a Goodwill or Salvation Army, you're so shocked by the amazing options that you can find there and the rock bottom prices. The environmental aspect is a big feature, especially for younger consumers. They want to be as environmentally conscious as possible. When shopping secondhand, you'll often find some of the best deals on clothes, home decor, books and jewelry. But there are some items you may want to steer clear of. I would say don't buy tech, say, in a thrift store. That's a bad idea. And then also anything large that's hard to wash, like uh, a soft couch or an easy chair, a large quilt, pillows, stuffed animals. Those things are hard to sanitize. For items you want to try on or inspect, you should buy in store. But there are a growing number of online options now, too. Online is available. It is growing in popularity and it's very convenient. There are lots of sites out there like for clothing. I would say thread up Poshmark, the real real, which is specific for designer uh, Depop. A lot of younger kids are buying and selling their clothes on Depop, which I like. You can also easily sell your items online to make some extra cash, including clothes, tech, jewelry and things like camera equipment. There are platforms out there that will buy your items from you for cash or for gift cards. So those are really great options if you're looking to make money quickly and you don't necessarily want to create a little business. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.